Gemini and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you're new here, I'm your host the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider liking, sharing, subscribing, ding the dong if you really like my content. And uh, as always, information, decks, disclaimers, all that will be in the description box down below. If you're returning, welcome back Soul Family. I love you guys. Okay, so I'm sorry if I cough every now and then or something. I'm getting over being sick, so please bear with me. <laughs> but today we're going to pull an occult tarot, a goetic entity. Then we're going to pull three tarot of sexual magic. And then, and those are explicit by the way, so if you don't like that, this is your warning. And at the end we'll pull a... Um, a little chakra charm for you. So, let's see what is going to come out for Gemini today. Okay, so right off the bat, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is the entity Zagan number 61. So it was in reverse, but I'll show you upright. This. So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it states, turns water into wine and back again, turns blood into wine, turns any metal into legal tender coins, makes fools wise. Eight of Pentacles is about building for yourself. It is about building upon your skills and the foundation that you have already built for yourself so that you can continue and progress your skill level, your skill set. Um, but it is in reverse, so I feel like maybe you have been feeling like you're not really capable or able to, at this point in time, put all of your time and effort into building what it is that you really want to build for yourself. Six and one make seven, and seven is a number of spirituality, six is a number of love, one is an amplification. Perhaps there may be a relationship, whether it is romantic or not, the, someone that you care about in your life that maybe you feel like things haven't really been working out. Um, perhaps you've been having intuition, like intuitive hits on your situation or perhaps this person has helped you or dealing with this person has helped you become more uh, spiritually aware or that's something that you are interested in eight of pentacles in reverse i feel like gemini you've been really busy and I feel like for a lot of you, it may be busy in your mind. Like, yes, your external situation may be quite hectic or chaotic at the moment. But I feel like your, your focus on the situation or on a certain person or certain aspect of the situation has really been sapping your energy dry. It's like you want to create, you want to build for yourself. Whoa, that card flew out. Uh, let's see. Sorry. That is the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this kind of goes and coincides with what I was going to say. Is that I feel like you're trying to build for yourself. But because of everything going on around you. Or because you're... You may be keeping yourself stuck or stagnating, um, not moving forward. Maybe you've been aggressive with yourself in your own mind, uh, harshly criticizing your own work, your own art, your own dance, your own acting, whatever it is you're singing, um, if you play an instrument or whatever the case is. It's important for you to, to focus on what it is that you do want to create for yourself. 
like the knight of wands upright you want to move forward you want to manifest what it is that you feel that you feel in your heart but again there's there's something that i feel is keeping you stagnating i feel like you have a lot on your mind if you need to meditate then meditate if you need to have a journal have a journal we do have the magician here which just goes to show like you are whether you believe it or not you're in a state of creation already so if you feel like you don't have time and you don't have space and you don't have this that or the other whatever fill in the blank of lack mentality you're manifesting more of that this is making me think akin to the law of attraction so gemini it's like saying be very cautiously aware at any moment that you can not to overthink but whenever you catch yourself doubting like oh well i don't have this and i don't have that and i can't i can't start this because of this or whatever bullshit you know we all have excuses and it's understandable but when you want to manifest you have to do everything in your power to manifest even if that's like let's say you want to establish some kind of routine and you have everything set in hours like let's say you want to work out for an hour but because you can't work out for one full hour in the day you decide just not to at all this is saying like just because you don't have the full hour to dedicate towards whatever practice that it is whether it's spiritual practice or anything else in your life don't focus on I can't get all of it done so I'm just not even gonna try because I'll tell you what even five minutes a day is better than zero minutes a day so what this is saying is even if you really are struggling to figure out to make time for certain things that you do really want to build for yourself since you are in the magician energy whether you like it or not, you're attracting to you. So might as well put that thought energy into um, to use it for your benefit to help you manifest what it is that you do want in your life. And again, even if you can't dedicate 30 minutes to a meditation, you can dedicate five minutes to it, to it then awesome like that's all you need I mean even if you're I'm sorry even if you're sitting down taking a shit and you got like one minute one to ten twenty however minutes <laughs> use that time like you can use that time wisely you can you can figure out aspects of your life how you can rearrange certain things that are not as important to you to create more time and space for what is important to you okay Gemini but there's a lot of caution here about your mentality also for some of you it's like you may be okay that flipped it obviously was in reverse but then it flipped upright so I'm gonna read it upright but um what was I gonna say if you have been struggling financially don't go around spending your money aimlessly because that's just counterintuitive so there's also this this uh, importance for you to acknowledge you know if you don't have money to be wasting on porquerias like shit that you don't need then you should be using that money wisely uh, if you have to be uh, manage it more strategically then do that here we have the uh, the knave of wands which is the page of wands so it's interesting because we have the knight of wands in reverse and then the magician and then the page of wands upright so it's like Some of you feel like, well, if I can't manifest all this 
all this great stuff that I want, then you know, I guess I'm just gonna have to settle. And that's bullshit. You don't have to settle. The only thing is you have to be more patient and allow yourself more time, more space, more energy to build. <coughs> Excuse me. To build for yourself. It's important for you to focus, deeply focus on what it is that you want to manifest for yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if a lower chakra came out. Um... For you but let's see because there's a lot of lower energy or the heart chakra or something maybe even the third eye to manifest whatever it is that you want to to see it happen um, and then to believe it and so that you can see it start to come into fruition in your real life fan the flame within you don't stop um, creating don't stop focusing on what it is that you want to create for yourself because that plays a big role in what it is that you're building if you're trying to build for yourself something that you can do um <coughs> see oh, okay surprise we got the sacral chakra which is the second chakra so um what was I saying? It's important for you to not stop creating. Even if it's like, I can't have this huge business from the start. Okay. I mean, if you want to establish a business, you have to start somewhere. No business that is like, you know, a huge corporation started off like just being a huge corporation. Like they started off as a little one store. And then maybe other places they start popping up within like a year or two or several years or even like 20 years, you know? <clears throat> so remember not to stay focused or, you know, in that mental state of like, I can't have it all right now, then I guess I'm not going to have any. Because if that's your mentality, then you're not going to get shit. You're not going to get shit done because then you're like, well, what's, what's even the point in trying? I saw 1233. It's important for you to take the first steps, no matter how small. Even if it's something you want to dedicate an hour or two, but you can't. Okay, 30 minutes. You can't do 30 minutes, 50 minutes. You can't do 50 minutes, 5 minutes. You can't do 5 minutes, then 1 minute. We all have 1 minute in the day. You know, even if it's in the shower or sitting on the throne, or, you know, doing something like eating, being more mindful or, you know, focusing on whatever it is, your intention or whatever. There is time. You just have to focus on using that time wisely. Okay, Gemini? Don't get too caught up in your head because it's, uh, it's fucking up your manifestations if you're not careful, okay? So again... We have the sacral chakra. There's a lot about pleasure here. I'm going to read from this chart. If you're interested in knowing more, then please have a look at my uh, unboxing I did of this. So, the sacral chakra is the second chakra. The color is orange. An overactive sacral chakra causes vol volatility volatility, excuse me, agitation and shrewdness, an underactive sacral chakra causes confusion, shame, and excess, frustration, um, and a balanced sacral chakra increases uh, pleasure and relationships. So, if you want to work with the sacral chakra, um, it does also have a lot to do with sexuality, so perhaps there's something within that you want to create. I don't know if you want to do sex magic or something, then that might be something that is calling out to you to give a try. So, I hope that this message resonated. I saw 1444. You're definitely trying to build stability and trying to manifest in your life. Don't stop and continue to pursue 
and continue to build upon your foundation so that you can uh, have this grand like idea that you want to come into fruition actually uh, be able to so i love you guys thank you so much for being here i really truly deeply appreciate each and every single one of you guys and i hope that all is well i hope that it helped thanks <laughs> all right thank you gemini bye